Okay, so we have um, these are the exploding pellets. A little higher. There you go. And uh, they're filled with a substance, which I'm not going to tell you what they're filled with. I'm not going to tell you how to make these uh, because it could be illegal by um, Obama standards or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but these little things can only hold, I mean, in the back of them, only as much as you can put in there. And I haven't weighed them or anything, but I would say my scale wouldn't pick up the amount of explosive that's in these pellets. So, but they are doing, they're doing a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. Uh, substantially more than I thought shooting through some of these cans and stuff that we're seeing today. So, um, hey, Demo Ranch, you got these? <laughs> So the damage is pretty, pretty good for pretty fucking awesome. for a little tiny pellet. That's freaking crazy. Yeah. So what are you gonna shoot next, Joe? I'm gonna shoot. Oh, dude, my laptop. I know. I'm gonna shoot. Um, I'm gonna shoot a regular pellet so you see the difference. Cause oh, maybe, okay. Maybe you're gonna go for the because uh, I'm loading them backwards. This was caused by me loading them backwards. It was filled with water so he's gonna uh shoot a regular pellet without just the uh regular stuff. pellet it's still loaded backwards so it's the same it just does not have the nice little white compound that i put inside of it that's all we'll leave there all right as you can see it didn't really do that much you want to go ahead and show it to the camera there jeff just a little hole yeah just a little hole yeah. in a little exit hole so, you want to do another one? So does the empty. So does the uh, explosive make a difference? Maybe it does. Okay, next up is the red solo cup filled with water. That's on the far right hand side, and we'll see what it does to that. And exploding pellet. Here we go. Jesus. <laughs> Now, What's that camera, man? Yeah, just a uh, tour and a half there. Yeah, pretty much just uh, shredded that. It had an exit hole. It just, it just popped it right open. So, nothing spectacular, really. There's some shrapnel that came out the bottom. but So, we're going to try that water bottle to the far right side of the beer can. There we go. <laughs> that one did it. <laughs> All right. I guess so, I saw it. Let's see what the carnage is, shall we? <laughs> Holy shit. Good lord. Yeah, make sure you pull the water out. <laughs> There's a hole. Good lord. Yep. And there is really no exit on these. These disintegrate upon impact, but it tore open the wow. entire bottle. So the one that I shot, it didn't even go off. Yeah, the one that uh, Timothy shot earlier uh, left a small little hole, and it didn't really go off. It's you, you really need a hard surface for that that stuff to go off, but that blowing out the bottom of a water bottle like that, a little, we're talking about a tenth of a grain of explosive going through a bottle, and there's shrapnel in here, by the way. I didn't <laughs> see that. So it was rattling. Can you see that? Yeah, I'm watching over here. There's a... Put a little closer to the camera? Piece of lead there. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, it just it shreds them. So, we'll be back with another one. And go. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and shoot the um, the beer can on the far right filled with water here. Yeah, no, that one had a little bit of a bang. Let's <laughs> see what the carnage is. Not much. I mean, Not much, but... Jeff always gives me the shitty ones, so. I, I guess I am. <laughs> Shit. Shit. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to stop this. Okay. Once again, we're going for the 211 can. We're shooting for the number two on the can. Let's do this. Exploding pellet. Damn. <laughs> so yours is working fun. 
Alright. Oh, that's awesome. Now let's see the car. Good lord. And that's not, got a crack to it. Not only that, hold on. Here's a, what's left of the pellet. Here, put after, it up a little bit. There you go. After explosion. That's awesome. And uh, we'll be back with some more carnage. So, um, at the top of the grill on the chimney, you'll notice that there is a Pepsi can. It might be untouched, unmolested Pepsi can at the moment. But, uh... We're going to fix that really quick. Thank you, Pepsi, for all you do. Delicious drinks. <laughs> Goodbye, motherfucker. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Shit shot in you, dude. It's still, it's still recording. I'm going to clean my lens off. <laughs> okay, that, that's pretty... Sticky. That's pretty... uh. Sticky? Where's the can at? So, uh, if we could take it, if we could take a video of the outside of our house, <laughs> oh, that would be funny. <laughs> That's <laughs> what it did to the Pepsi can. Um, it did go through. The, I guess the rest of the pellet that was left went through, and uh, yeah, that's just. I, we're talking ten. Tenths of a gram of explosives. Not even a gram. That's all. Awesome. So. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, shoot a diet coke can uh, on the top of my grill chimney here with exploding pellets. Um, with exploding pellets. <laughs> Look at that shit. <laughs> <Get the can. laughs> I don't even know where it went. No, it's over here. You be great? Okay. Holy shit. Yeah, dude. That was hot. All right. That's, uh, <laughs> once again, there's pellet remains in there, but look at the can. That is crazy. And then we get yeah, there you go. pieces of the pellet because they disintegrate. They don't. We're talking about exploding pellets, so... As soon as this pellet hits, it goes through the can and explodes milliseconds, nanoseconds on the other side, blowing all this outward, but it doesn't go through the can. So, they're impractical, kind of, but, but could you imagine getting hit by one of that? Your skin would look like or that. blow a squirrel up with that, man. Yeah, you would blow the hell out of a squirrel with that. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's crazy right there. I mean... Okay, so we have, um, these are the exploding pellets. A little higher. There you go. And uh, they're filled with a substance, which I'm not going to tell you what they're filled with. I'm not going to tell you how to make these. Uh, because it could be illegal by um, Obama's standards or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but these little things can only hold, I mean, in the back of them only as much as you can put in there and I haven't weighed them or anything but I would say my scale wouldn't pick up the amount of explosive that's in these pellets so but they are doing they're doing a lot a lot a lot of damage to, uh, substantially more than I thought shooting through some of these cans and stuff that we're seeing today so um hey demo ranch you got these <laughs> Okay, so we're going to test the control with a, uh, a regular BB gun, a little daisy BB gun here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and shoot the can on the right, non-exploding BBs. Well, that was pretty fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good for a BB gun. All right. So uh, let's see what happens when you uh, shoot it with an exploding pellet. God, dude! <laughs> That was cool. <laughs> it's gonna get sticky. Yeah, yeah, my grill's definitely sticky now. Right, everybody loves a good Heineken every now and then. So, uh, you know, fortunately, uh, this beverage has already been drinking and filled with water. 
Um, that way we don't have any alcohol abuse going on. So uh, we're going to go ahead and shoot it with an exploding pellet. Exploding pellet incoming. Three, two, one. You didn't even hit it. You hit the fucking hit chimney. It. No, you hit the chimney. No, I hit it. You hit the chimney. I hit the fucking high chimney. <laughs> right there, look. Let's put the camera. Right there. So I did hit that, although somebody doesn't think I did. No, I believe you. But on Heineken. Here, go up, go up, go up. Oh, there you go. My Heineken right there, right above the K, um, just was, it exploded so much that it loses its kinetic energy to do this. If I shoot this now, and we would probably do this with a regular pellet, it'll go right through it and bust this bottle, I guarantee you. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and try this again with the Heineken bottle. Uh, once again, it is filled with water, uh, not alcohol, so give it a shot. Yeah, pretty much exploded on impact with the uh, the glass. So yeah, so yeah. it goes to show that uh, they're not practical. Yeah, they're not practical. So we'll go ahead and shoot it with a regular BB gun. And uh, watch this thing pretty much blow up. Uh, uh, watch that. Shoot with a regular one. Okay, still up there. So, so, yeah, it pretty much explodes right on impact. We got a pass. regular pellet, and this is what a pellet versus BB does. Non-exploding pellet. Yeah, pretty much the same one right there. Yeah. Probably in a neighbor's house, too. So. Okay, so we're going to shoot exploding pellet at the grill. Um... Just to see what they sound like when they hit something. It's not going to be spectacular. It'll probably leave a little mark on the grill. Probably ricochet and kill me. Um, <laughs> or me. I'm right behind you. <laughs> or, or Tim behind me. So, we'll see. Here we go. In three, two, one. Damn. Wow, it's like a fucking 22. Yeah, it does. Let's see if I can zoom in a little digital, digital zoom right one more shot. Alright, so we're going to do another test with the uh, Diet Coke cans here. Um, heavily shaken. The regular BB gun versus exploding pellets. Excuse me, sir. So I'll go ahead and go to the one on the right. <laughs> you got a little yeah. wet on that. Alright. <laughs> So that was just a regular Daisy BB gun shooting a BB. Um, let's see what a pellet gun with an exploding pellet in it is going to do to the can. Three, two, one. God, dude! <laughs> so that was a good last pellet. Here, let me go grab some napkins with this. <laughs> Alright, so there's a big difference in uh, a regular BB. No shit. Okay. Oh, wow. Versus a exploding pellet. Yes, there is. <laughs> a much bigger difference. Yeah. So, those aside here. So, we have more Diet Coke exploding pellet cans here. So, you don't really want to mess with these, man. That's, that's actually a BB. Oh, that, oh, yeah, that is a BB. Right. Yeah, this is the exploding pellet. Alright, so these are the cans right here that we shot with regular BBs. And these are the exploding pellets here. And he's ready to Here, hold back camera over here and I'll explain somewhat how this was done. You have a pellet and it has that void inside of the pellet here. This one goes down, I mean, about that much. 
So as much explosive or composition that I could put in this is what made those cans explode in the manner that they did. And that, that those cans are pretty tore up from uh, just this being filled with the uh, with the composition that I made. So um, pretty badass stuff, actually.